Yeah, what up, man? Welcome back to the channel, man. Y'all already know, man. Fishing with Nate. Appreciate y'all clicking on the video, man. Y'all already know, man. Day two on the boat restoration, man. 14 and a half foot aggressive boat by Starline Boats. Y'all know what I'm saying? We here, man. Y'all already know. Day two, man. Trying to get it back right, man. Y'all already know. All right, y'all. We got our cutouts. So y'all can barely see that. Five panels. Switch blade, I mean switch blade, switch panel for the accessories, the bilge pump switch right there, three way. Um, the actuator, cable switch, and then we got the live wheel timer switch right there, man. So we got it kind of crowned up as well. It's a whole lot cleaner than what it was before, y'all, so. Whole lot cleaner. Still gotta vacuum out some areas, but for the most part, we got it cleaned out. We about to drop this overflow down, this big hose right here. We gotta drop that down. And gotta change that fitting for over there for that holes right there going up that's gonna be one of the bilge out holes right there we're gonna change that three four that three quarter fitting on that and back in the back of the boat out man and we'll be probably pretty much when we cleaning this area up man came along pretty good cleaned up 
pretty well. Sorry if that's blowing out on y'all. Yeah, that's where we at right now, man. You know what I'm saying? That's where we at with it, man. Um, like I told y'all earlier, we cut out the switch panels. We got that out for the switches. The little accessory switches and everything. Cut the live well out somewhat. You know what I mean? Anything else we're going to be adding to this live well is the oxygenator. Show y'all that. <laughs> we ain't worrying about that right now, though. But got overflow over there. And upside down, I'll pump out, pump in, and fit in, man. Y'all can see. So, yeah. We're gonna do these little cutouts real quick for that. And we should be good. Then we'll get on to something else, man. But that's where we at right now, y'all. And y'all make sure y'all like these videos, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I told y'all, this is me and Eli first time doing this. But you know, we making progress. Everything seems like it's going good right now. We just setting ourselves up for the next for part three. Which gonna be putting in accessories like the bilge pump, um, wiring up the aerators and all that stuff like that, and getting that going to part three. So we just still prepping, man. So y'all stay tuned with us. This video is not over yet. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, man, make sure you subscribe. You're gonna get content like this, boat restoration until we done with this boat. You know what I'm saying? This our little small boat. You know, we do plan on getting another boat. Maybe something like a 19 or a 20 footer. But that's at a later date. It's just to get us going right now, you know what I'm saying? For what we be doing. Going into certain little small bodies of water. And it's gonna get us on Okeechobee at the same time, man. So, you know, we gonna start out doing some team tournaments in this boat right here, man. That's why we getting it to, you know, getting it prepared and getting it, getting it ready for stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And when we shooting videos on small bodies of water, you feel me? So like I say, man, if y'all haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel, Fishing With Nate, man. Appreciate the support. Appreciate y'all love. Hit that like button. Share the videos. It's just part two, baby. It's going down. You already know. All right, man. Sun kicking out behind right now. But got it pretty much cleaned up back there in the bilge area. Um, next on the list. We gonna be taking this hole, I mean this holes off, and that through hole fitting, and we gonna swap that out with a different a flow right through hole through hole fitting for the um, for the bilge pump. That's gonna be a three quarters holes. We'll probably run that and just get that out of the way, at least get that lined up, so we don't have to worry about that. That just to be plug and play. Um, we gotta do a few. We gotta do another overflow cutout take the overflow um through hole fitting we got to drop that down lower um and i'm looking at the boat at the same time trying to remember what i said we was going to do so i got that um what else do we have um run the holes run that oh i found out we got a little a little crack in our front live well man so i'm a Put some 5200 down. Hopefully that seal that hole up. I know it will. So I'm gonna fill that up with that. Try to do that as good as I could to keep that from leaking out. Cause we gonna need that live well. You know what I'm saying? We got some 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 yonders in there. You know what I'm saying? We gonna need both of them live wells. So that's where we at so far, man. It's hot as heck out here. Feel like it's like 95 degrees killing me right now after it rained down here the sun come out extra hard man so that's where we at man we gonna switch a few of these things out real quick build pump build build out hole you know through hole fitting for that drop down the overflow seal that crack up inside the front live well cut out 
on the back hatch. We gonna cut out a um cut out the hole for the TH Marine um locking locking um locking latch. Yeah, we gonna cut that out and at least get that done. Cause next time we gonna be like I said, we gonna be wiring the boat up. I'm gonna probably be putting the batteries in though. Uh, got a video coming out too with the battery system that I'm using for this boat. So make sure y'all tune in and check out for that video. That should be up already before I post this video. So make sure y'all check that out. 12 volt system going in this boat, trolling motor, and of course for the engine and all the accessories. So yeah, man, that's where we at, man. We gonna get get some of that done out the way, and I don't know how much longer we gonna be in this sun, but. I at least wanted to just complete that area so that when we get back to this, we'll be able to just start dropping some of that stuff back in the back, what we're going to need that's going to be back there, like the battery trays, um, at least run the wiring from the bilge pump and the aerators back there, and run them to the front so, you know, whenever we do drop the fuse block in the we'll be able to do that. So that's where we at right now. But well, we finna get back to this, man, and y'all lay around for it. We ain't done yet. All right, man. <clears throat> Giving y'all an update, man. Um, we cut this back hole out here for this back latch, man. For the TH Marine latch lock, man. So we got that done. Got that out the way. Cut up a few other things, man, that we needed to get done. And got that done. Y'all can see we got that hole, holes over there. That's gonna be for um, our three quarter bilge pump, the Johnson bilge pump with the um, ultimate switch on it. That's what that hose is gonna be ran for. I mean, that's what that hose is ran for, for that. Okay, go outside. It's our overflow hose right there. Y'all can see that. It's our overflow hose right there. And then that hose coming from up there is going to be for our rule. 1100 bills pump man so we kind of got that done got that cleaned up a little bit man we got this back bilge area cleaned up if y'all see the first video man it was all kind of trash back here so yeah we got that cleaned up man got that cleaned up so yeah man got our panel for our battery battery gauge cut out uh what else did we do our main thing was just to finish this off man and we got our switch panel cut out as y'all can see right here this is gonna be the Johnson three-way switch right here it's gonna be the six gang switch panel right here this is gonna be the aerator. I mean, aerator. This is gonna be the actuator, actuator cable for, and the knob for the live well. And that's our live well timer, timer switch thing right there. And we had to take this. We had to take this remote off. We're gonna be switching that one for a different one for the um, BRP switch. So we got that going on. Man, pretty much, man. We got done what we gonna get done for the day, man. That's all we gonna take care of. We got that done. Next video. Next video, we will be on. Get in here. It's better. Next video. Next video, we will be on doing some of the wiring and everything. What you say? You want to get it fit? I'm gonna check it right now. Yeah, I'm going to check it. All right, man. Another long day, man, dealing with this boat. We got the things that I told y'all we got done earlier, man. 
basically prepping it up for us, running our bills pump and our aerator wiring on part three, you know what I'm saying? And we'll do a little overall general clean out, you know what I'm saying? Again, when we start on that, we gonna drop them, uh, gonna drop them panels in over there as well. You know, the panels that I told y'all what we cut out for earlier in the video. We gonna drop them panels in there. Get all that wiring done. Drop our blue seas, fuse block, bus bar in. At least, you know, get it get it mounted or get the, the wood that we gonna epoxy to the hull, you know, in place. And we moving, man, pretty much, man. I'm happy, man, I'm excited, man. It's all about progressing, man, elevating, you know what I'm saying? And that's what we doing, man. We got a lot done today. Again, it don't seem like much, but you know, we got a lot done, man. I took measurements of everything on this boat, of the seats, um, uh, what else? The trim that we gonna be using on the boat, you know, to go around the hatches, the trim, pad in that goes within the within the hatches got that done um yeah man pretty much man i ain't gonna babble a lot on this one man but we got a lot done bro and i'm so tired but i'm so happy and ecstatic at the same time because i know i can see it i can see it you know i can see it coming together i, I can see that my, my vision coming together you know what i mean but yeah man we gonna end this video man Y'all like this video? Make sure you hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, turn on all post notifications on, man. You know what I'm saying? So you can rock with your boy, man, whenever I drop a video. You feel me? And yeah, man. What else can I say, man? Fishing with Nate, man. Thank y'all for tuning in to this video. See y'all in part three, baby.